All right, so here we have the D and G pentatonic lava game. So in the in the first position, the first couple of frets of the guitar, we can find the blue notes, which are the notes that match the D chord. So you got the D, that's your open fourth string, the F sharp, the fourth fret on that string, the A is blue on the string below it, D on the second string. Up. D on the second string, got F sharp on the small string, and you've got the high A. So any of those blue notes, if you play them, is a perfect match. So if you're not sure what note to harmonize when you're soloing or improvising, finding those chord tones can be really helpful. And I've got them laid out in all these fret is lava charts the lava game. So anyways, here we go. If someone's playing a D chord, any kind of D chord that you know, it's going to have those three letters, the D major, D, F sharp, and A. So when someone's playing that, you can solo and target. Target meanings ending on one of those blue notes. And usually it only happens over a certain number of beats. So this is over four beats. We have four beats to improvise and make up some, th some kind of melody that matches the blue notes. So I'll play the chord for four beats like this. D, two, three, four. And during that time when I'm strumming, your, your opportunity is to play any of those blue notes. You can just play one and hold it out for four beats. Two, three, four. Or you can play a couple of them. One, two. But as soon as that four beat is over, that chord is done, and then we would go to a new chord. So let's try jamming. I'll play four beats, and you get to pick some D notes. One, two, three, pick your D notes, and go. One, two, three, four, and that's it. Um, so you can loop this over and over with each, each chord, or play with a backing track. The green tones are extra notes that you can improvise too from them. So for example, you could play the D, blue, F sharp, but you can go back to the E in between. Now I put arrows signifying to come back to the circled blue as your most resolved sound. So usually when you're improvising, if you're gonna play these green notes, we call them the pentatonics because we end up with five different letters in this scale, the pentatonic scale, if that's green and blue. Get all these really great sounds. Pull off, slide, vibrato, but to have a really harmonious end you want to target or finish your melody on one of those blue notes. So if I got a couple of beats I'll count one, two, three, four, and I'm going to try to make sure I'm ending on a blue note. All right. So then we would switch chords, now we can go to a G chord. And in the G chord, if you hold this or on any instrument, you're gonna be containing three different letters. Gibbity, G, B, and D. So when you hold all these fingers down, yeah, that makes a chord shape, but it's also including the G, B, D notes. So anytime you play those blue notes, you got a nice solo. And I've highlighted where the other, some of the other G, B, Ds are in that area that you can solo with. So slide into them land on them, target them, the B's and the G's. You're going to harmonize perfectly when someone plays a G chord. Why don't you give a chance, play the blue notes, gibbities, and I'll strum for four beats. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's go with the G chord, blue notes, G chord, G chord, G chord. <laughs> so that's four beats, you'd be done. So um, sometimes in songs, the chords don't last very long, right? So you can practice jamming with them and getting used to targeting notes that you enjoy. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, play the blue notes. G, two, three, four, then end on a blue note. Okay, we can get all pentatonic-like and play the blues and greens, but remember you want to target by ending on a blue. So you could go green G, open E, D, hit the B, the A. You can play it in any 
randomized pattern, as long as you like the sound, but don't end on green and on blue if you want the resolution to a G chord. So it, it doesn't always matter the notes that you start with, it's more so how do you end, do you finish on the blue. So we play a G chord, two, three, four, and if you play a pentatonic, while you're hearing someone play a G chord, if you land on a blue note, it'll sound like you're matching in a more colorful way by including the pentatonic green and blues. So yeah, you could practice just going back and forth between the D and the G. Here's the ultimate challenge. Try this. Four counts on D, only play blue notes. Four counts on G, only play blue notes. Okay, here you go. One, two, three. You go with the D blue notes. Two, three, playing D. Four, now the G blue notes. Two, three. Back to the D blue notes. So we're switching different scales, different charts. Then the G blue notes. You only get four counts for each chord, so D blue notes. Two, three, four. G blue notes. Two, three, four. D blue notes. Two, three, four. Then G blue notes. Lava idea is that if you play any note that's outside of those, we would call them lava with this game. They wouldn't be a perfect match. Sometimes you can find other cool tones that match, but these are leveled up games that gamify learning guitar and, and music in a really fun, creative, colorful way. So um, have fun jamming with that. Check out makemusichere.com for more books and DVDs. The beat is lava, the fret is lava. Um, the note is lava, lots of really fun ways of learning incredibly complicated aspects of music, but simplifying it in a way that's accessible and we can get us playing music right away. Um, you can go deep off in the music theory and it helps in really intellectual ways as well to do all these color systems that, that I've found really helpful with students over the years and myself and my own learning and studying. Have fun and make music here.